<laughs> what? They just, they ruined it. They just nerfed the whole phone. <gasps> Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all latest tech news from a geek that is me, to know that is you. Happy Thursday. A lot of people asking about the new logo and the new look for the show. If you didn't know, we've actually been making this show for like seven years. Even though like 90% of you found us just in the last year and a half, two years. This is episode 933, and just about every year we change the look of the show on the show's birthday, which is on January 14th. So that is when you'll get the new look, the new logo for the show as we start season eight. We usually take about a week off, but we've taken enough weeks off, so we're just gonna hop right into the new season. Uh, but for now though, let's just do today's news, shall we? All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. We've been talking a lot about Apple lately, so this whole show is just Samsung news. We will start with Project Neon. So there was a lot of hype about this, about Project Neon. Samsung hyped it up. Leakers, known Samsung leakers hyped it up. The idea was that Neon is some sort of AI artificial human. I mean, at one point, Ice Universe was even tweeting, hyping it up, saying, at CES 2020, what I most look forward to is the birth of Neon. This feeling is like looking forward to a rare meteor shower. Neon will be a game changer. Anyway, turns out, kinda sucks. It's no crazy artificial human thing. It's just an avatar, it's just a digital avatar that looks like a human. So per usual, and this is not all Ice Universe's fault, it was just completely overhyped. Samsung overhyped it themselves. This just reminds me of Samsung's weird, creepy, like, knockoff emojis that they, like, from Apple that they copied and they made it look like this, but it's kind of scary looking. This just seems like a more, slightly more advanced version of that. It's from a subsidiary of Samsung called Star Labs that was working on the project. And this is it, it's just a digital avatar thing. Now, I have to admit, I saw all the hype and I fell for it. I fell right on my asshole for it. I was like, holy, this is gonna be so cool. Artificial, this is a completely different project. This looks so cool, it's gonna be a game changer. It was not. Um, in other strange Samsung news, remember how we were trying to figure out how many Galaxy Folds they sold? I did that on purpose, <laughs> and I really regret the joke, but listen, I'm not gonna redo the take. We're, go we're both gonna live with my mistake here. There was that thing on stage where some executive was like, we sold a million Galaxy Folds. And then it was like, then I came on the show and was like, see, they only sold a million. So it's not a total flop. It's kind of an impressive flop. And then of course, a lot of you were like, They're they sold a million. Why don't, if Apple said it, you would believe them. <laughs> That's how I hear you in my head. But then literally the next day, Samsung had to come out and make a correction saying, actually, no, that person on stage lied. He misspoke, misunderstood. We did not sell anywhere close to a million folds. And now thanks to DJ Ko, the CEO of Samsung, we know how many Galaxy Folds they sold. But actually we don't. He literally said, um, I think we've sold 400,000 to 500,000 Galaxy Fold smartphones. So they literally still do not know. 400,000, 500,000, who's to say, really? Wonder why they don't know. Maybe because they put pre-orders up, had you buy it that one time, and then they canceled all those because this <laughs> was breaking, and then they didn't do that, so then they were like, okay, we're gonna sell again, and then they did it again, and then how many people have returned it? Like, you don't know, right? You don't know how many you sold. That's why you don't give a number. This launch has been a total fucking mess. And even if you can say we sold 400,000 Galaxy Folds or 500,000 Galaxy Folds, sold does not equal shipped. I mean, are you counting both times you let people buy the phone, the time you canceled it, and then the time you let them buy it for real? Are you doubling the numbers here? Like, the numbers are all sorts of fucked up. So how about we just don't care about how many of this initial launch how, how about we just don't care how many units they sold and we just move on to the next one we pet we do we do better better the next time we give the galaxy fold 2 or whatever new galaxy fold device is coming that clamshell thing galaxy fold i'm just guessing 
V, Y, Z, one of those. Uh, and then we just pay attention to that. We just launch that correctly, and then we go from that. Just pretend, just pretend this initial Galaxy Fold launch never even happened. Okay, so this next one is, I don't know, man. It's just sad. So Samsung is at CES, you know that probably. And they were on stage discussing like their investments into security, cybersecurity, that sort of stuff. And oh, geez, come on. On stage during their presentation. Look at this, you see that? Let's zoom in, you see that right there? Yeah, mm-hmm. That right there is the logo that Samsung is using for their facial recognition stuff on their devices but you may have seen it before. That's because it's this. That's because it's the Face ID logo. They just stole, they just copied Apple's Face ID logo. And also, wait, wait a second. Is that, is this also the Touch ID logo? Let's do a real quick side by side. Hang on, let me do this real time. Let me, let me figure this out. Nah. That's not it. Good news, they're different. That so there's that. That's cool. I mean, they're pretty close, but it's no, you know, it's not, it's not Face ID logo copying close. I mean, I guess I just don't get it. Like that's such a simple thing. Why copy that? Why steal that completely? Like, you you have so much money. You have so much money. Just hire some fucking dude from Fiverr. Make a different logo. Why do you do this? Just to remind you, this is all coming from the company that does this, like has mocked Apple multiple times. Sometimes Apple completely deserves, actually most of the time Apple completely deserves it when you mock them, but then, but then like you completely reverse it when you just like, you just, you're just hypocrites. You go, you do what Apple does. And now not only have you like just taken a feature or copied Apple in some way, you literally just stole the fucking logo. I mean, Samsung copies a lot from Apple in a lot of different places, and Apple copies a lot from Samsung in a lot of different places. This has been going back and forth for years. This has been happening. But just like, imagine if it was this blatant. Like, imagine if Apple was on stage during a keynote and showed a Samsung design like this. Hmm? Boy, all this Samsung news really got sad really quick. Um, if you're a hardcore Samsung fan, Prepared to be sad again. All right, so next month, as you know, we're getting the Galaxy S20, like three different models, Galaxy S20, Galaxy S20 Plus, and Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, one of the main things that a lot of people were super excited about was that display, supposedly going to be a 120 Hertz display. But now, uh, seems that Samsung changed their mind and they're canceling that, last minute. This is once again coming from Ice Universe and what the f Literally minutes before I recorded this episode, he tweeted a thing that I wanted to talk about, and now it's gone. Now he deleted it again. Did it again. What the fuck? Now, luckily, this time, before I talked about it, I screenshotted it. I have him. Oh, thank you, past Jern. Samsung is considering canceling the 2K 120 hertz option. Still 60 hertz. If this does happen, I recommend that everyone who considers buying the S20 please purchase the OnePlus 8 Pro, which will use 2K 120 hertz to give you the best experience. <laughs> Let Samsung die. Okay, so <laughs> the last bit was a little extreme. I see, I think he's upset. And then he followed up saying, the 2K 120 hertz option has always existed. Directly to the latest version, it has been blocked by Samsung, which now makes the whole situation make sense as to how Samsung can cancel something like this last minute when the event is next month. So the hardware is capable of 120 hertz, but it's gonna be nerfed and software. They're gonna just turn that shit off. Now, there is still a tweet that exists that says, if I tell you that Samsung canceled the 2K 120 hertz function of the S20, will you buy it? And then someone said, yes, but 90 hertz is bare minimum. And he replied saying, 60 hertz. <sighs> okay, so while I was recording this, he actually just tweeted something else that explains the deleted tweets. He said, let me delete these rumors first and wait for the latest news, but I'm already a pissed cat. Oh, but wait. I have more. He tweeted something else that I got a screenshot of before he deleted it. 
that might make you even more upset. He also tweeted, in addition, in the latest test version, Samsung has canceled some of the important camera functions of the S20 Ultra. Ultra is no ultra. So whatever those super exciting camera features were that you may have been expecting in the Galaxy S20 Ultra, maybe don't be so excited about that anymore. Now, I just wanna put some stuff on the screen real quick. Uh, there, ha These rumors have been going around, but just like everything, every rumor for every upcoming device for any company, they are just rumors and leaks spread by these random people. Nothing was ever really confirmed from Samsung, not the 120 hertz, not any of these features. It, so it was, our expectations are built by these leaks. And sure, yes, it's fun, like paying attention to the leaks and all this stuff. Yes, it's fun, but it like inflates our expectations. And then when the company doesn't deliver, we get upset and we're like sort of mad at the company when Samsung never promised this stuff, you just had it in your head that they were gonna do it. And then when they don't do it, you're, you're upset. And that's not fair. That's not fair to any of these companies, not to Apple, not to Samsung. It's not their fault that you got your dick hard. You know what I mean? And to the average people that are gonna buy these phones, it's not gonna matter. Like I saw this crazy statistic, like this crazy number the other day, saying that over 90% of postpaid phones sold within carriers are Apple or Samsung devices. That is nuts. 90% of all these phones sold with carriers are Apple or Samsung phones. That's bonkers. So to the majority of the people buying these phones, they don't care. They won't know. They don't know that any of this stuff was supposed to happen. They aren't following Ice Universe. They aren't watching this show. They don't give a single shit. They're not gonna be mad. You might be mad, we might be mad or disappointed, but it doesn't matter. You know, they could have never had these plans in place anyway. Like they never planned on it and we just fell for the leaks and rumors because some cat on Twitter said it. Or sure, yeah, maybe they were working on this stuff and for whatever reason, for their demographic, they decided to nuke it. Just get rid of the feature. Or who knows, we might be surprised at the event, all of our wildest dreams come true. And they do deliver these features, woo, great. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So if the 120 hertz thing, if that's a deal breaker for you, if they don't have it, okay, so you won't buy the phone. But somebody else will take your place. They will buy the shit out of that phone. So just let me know in the comments, are you disappointed by the, uh, you disappointed by it? Are you disappointed? Are you disappointed by any of this? Like, I know there, there are some hardcore Samsung fans and now you might feel like they wronged you. And that's cool. That's fine, I guess. Let us know in the comment section below. I'm telling you though, this shit doesn't matter. All right, that is the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, hit that like a button. If you hate my stupid face, that dislike button works too. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.